good. Very humid morning here in Chicago. Good morning. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlogs. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. It is a little after 6.30. I am out trying to get my long run in before storms roll in. I think that's like an 80% chance at eight o'clock and a 100% chance a little shortly after that. And it's probably gonna be like a three hour run, a little less maybe for me today. So I might be getting caught in the rain, but we're gonna see. Might I'm doing it like a split, like a two a day. Not ideal, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do, right? It's not saying like rain, like I would run in rain. It's saying like severe thunderstorms. So I'm trying to position myself that I can get to a train or a bus or something at pretty much a moment's notice kind of a thing. Anyway, happy Sunday. Quite choppy out today. Quite ominous looking out there today. Running up on the steps today because I don't want to run in that. Alright, I scoped out the radar just now and I gotta be responsible. Um, not 15 miles is not happening today. I'm gonna try to get six in. I think if I plan it out, I think I planned it out, mapped it out if I get six miles in. I, if that's the plan, I think I would get home before the storm. It's not just rain coming in, it's like a bad thunderstorm coming in. So I don't wanna mess around with that. So I'm adjusting accordingly. Maybe I'll get out for a run later. Maybe I'll get on a Peloton bike ride later. But oh, we're getting six miles in this morning is the plan now. look like the living room of a 9.30 in the morning Sunday. It's so dark and stormy out now. So it looks like nighttime. Okay, so the parks panel is about to begin just now. We are about to head out though because we are going to the Misericordia Family Fun Fest. I think that's its full name. There is some there is some interesting weather going on in Chicago. So there was a delay to the fest. Um, so we're just gonna go, go with the flow, see how the kids nap. Jordan Fisher is singing. <laughs> okay, it's starting. <laughs> the panel is starting. I literally cannot even think. It's Josh tomorrow, um, is, who is starting out. They just performed Happily Ever After. What does that mean? And now we have to like go out into society and pretend like we're normal humans. <laughs> At least keep it on the whole time. You're, I'm gonna have to Yeah, I got Mickey Denim on. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, they're on to Walt Disney World. We're about to park. James is sleeping. He's talking about nighttime spectacular. So I am excited to share that we're crowding on all. Nighttime Spectacular for Epcot. What? New Epcot? What? What? No more Harmonious? What are you saying, Teddy? Harmonious leaving. And they announced a meet and greet with Figment. Fantastic. There you go. At Disney Parks experiences and we're still in the car. Just watching. <laughs> we haven't been able to get out yet. It had been raining, so worked out. It's raining and we're leaving the car with no Fantasmic updates. 
we can't be the only people who are waiting for it, right? We can't be the only people who thought there was going to be a Phantasmic. Update. Listen, we just need to get in the car right now and drive to some <laughs> Disney park. <laughs> Marceline, Missouri. Some Disney park. You hungry? We're going to go get with delicious food. Yeah, okay. Now to your, <laughs> what we plan for today's vlog. One of our favorite days of the year. Yeah, we got a beer tent. I think they're playing the Bears game. This is supposed to be where usually the kids' games are, but I don't know how many games are going on today with the rain. I'm on, on a search for food. I think there's some this way. That's ice cream. I gotta find food. All right, it's still pouring, but I'm getting a Euro sandwich. I got a burger over there with fries. I'm gonna get some nachos as well. It's gonna be a good day. Gonna eat good even with the rain. Well, we have not eaten yet, but look at all this food that we got just from me and Sarah and James. The rain was so bad that they had to evacuate the main tent, and now we are having trouble finding a place to eat that is we quiet. Sat down, there was a table, and then a band started like 10 feet from us, and we're like, Well, we can't stay here, so we're getting chicken because we there's the one last thing we wanted to get. Food okay. wise. Thank you. And now we gotta find somewhere to eat it. Okay. James is like half dry, so that's good. We found this overhang, this doorway that we're hanging out at because we, we just got desperate. Ooh, ranch. We got ranch, house made chips, some chicken tenders. All right, let's see what's going on in these ridiculous things. What did you get? All right, so here we got french fries, cheeseburger, and the, the gyro, which this place is the place I had my first show ever, and it was really? changed my life. Yeah. Is there Cordy Fest? Your first, first euro ever. We were almost together a whole year and you hadn't even tried one yet? Yeah, no. Wow. And then this, wait until you see this. This is now smashed. But the oh largest God. deluxe tacos, nachos that they made today. <laughs> that is impressive. They gave me all the trays. So we're gonna munch on this, eat our feelings in the rain. It does, and I hope they open up the main tent again. But we're gonna manja on all this. It's not a pretty thing. Wow. Eating a euro in Chicago. <laughs> it is a delicious thing. I miss my mom so much. Oh. Yeah. Ow. Oh, you're sleepy. Ow. <laughs> Ow. You got a funny dad. <laughs> Funny looking. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gotta give your brother a french fry. It's just miserable out. So, we're just gonna stop at the Hearts and Flower Bakery and grab some baked goods before we, we go home. Well, it's still raining. They come, they eat, they leave sometimes. <laughs> we came. Shortest visit to the festival in my whole I think life. it's like the heavens telling us because it's our first year without Grandma Cookie because we haven't been here since we moved to Florida. Yeah. And it's the first year without your mom. Yeah. And they are staples to the Misericordia community. Like all of the proceeds, like in little flowers for Sarah's mom, were donations to Misericordia. Yeah. So, like, her name's on a plaque in one of the buildings. I'll put in the description, I'll put a link to, like, Misericordia home and more about it and such. But we're toast. We at least came and had delicious Misericordia food. So much food. And we saw some of the stage show before yeah. before the main tent had to get evacuated. Oh god. Whoa. We did it. Oh goodness. We did do we it. We made it. Everyone's in good spirits though. We're very lucky. <laughs> we're very lucky. Is it probably too late to be doing this? Yes. But sometimes you just gotta live life, right? James, you know what we're up here for? Hey, where are you going? Hey. Let me get it for you. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, that's a quick eat. Two, two, two. Mmm, do the Reese's dance. Ooh, ooh, do the Reese's dance. Hey, hey, do the Reese's dance. Now spin. Did you burp? That smelled like straight euro if that was your burp. We are home. I don't know if we've vlogged since we've been home, but we're home. We've been just having a cozy, nice night in the family room playing. We have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on. It's just been like a spooky kind of day with this weather. I have just ran away for a little bit to put together some cookies for us, some three ingredient cookies. My friend Lauren sent me the recipe on Instagram. Um, looks super yummy, looks super easy. So I decided to just go ahead, go and do it really quick. Um, they're peanut butter cookies. It calls for a full jar of peanut butter, a full can of garbanzo beans, um, which are also chickpeas if you do not know, and then 10 dates. So basically it's nice and full of protein, but the, the sweetness comes from the dates. Um, you put it in the food processor and bake them. So I'll show you, I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so that did not go as planned. It made much more dough than I expected and my food processor is not big. Um, so I kind of had to like process some, take some out, put more in. So I would recommend this if you have a larger food processor, but now it seems like everything is combined well, so I'm gonna roll them into one inch balls and then flatten them with a fork and they'll go in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. So I did add a few extra dates in when I tasted the batter. I'll also link the Instagram video I saw below with the recipe. Um, I like sweeter, but that's just me. So, but these, these cookies will be a great source of protein and fiber and fat, like just in a nice form of a cookie. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I don't regularly like see something and actually follow through with like getting the ingredients. I'm kind of an on the fly, whatever we got kind of person. And so I'm proud of myself for seeing it and planning it and actually doing it. Eva girl, Eva girl. I always show Evie's sleeping, but she is a puppy. Yeah. I chased her. <gasps> there she is. She crazy. Um, I checked on the cookies at 10 minutes. They were crumbly. So I did them for five more. We'll see how they are. Kind of smells burning. Don't you don't you love this well loved pan? Um this is how they look. This is what I mean by crumbly. I want to let them sit and not try to eat them, you know, like right out of the oven like I did before. So let them sit, firm up, fingers crossed. So we ate a ton at the fest, but Jamesy didn't eat as much. So, so we're having some crackers before bed. He's entranced by Jack, the pumpkin king. She's pretending to be nice, but she really just wants the crackers. Yeah. Reaction? I had one, and it was good, definitely healthy. Yeah. Then I took Reese pieces and put them on the second. <laughs> I was gonna say that they would have been good with like a Hershey Kiss in the middle. Yeah. You know, like one of those kind of cookies. You have to drink to rinse the taste out of your mouth. No, oh, it's just a little dry. Did it crumble? Um, if I was delicate with it, it was good. I think if once they cool more, yeah. they won't be as crumbly. Okay. No, I like them though. Um, I had this whole idea of like putting them on a plate, bring them out here with our pumpkin pop. A nice Halloween night. Everyone is crashing. Hi. Do you want a cookie? Oh, thank you. This time around, we're going to add an M&M to each one. So I think that the cookies would do better as like a pie crust or like a bar bottom as like a base. It'd be great, but maybe not as like a standalone cookie. We'll see how I feel after we eat the ones with the M&Ms on top. All right, kids are asleep. It's fairly late, um, so we're gonna go to bed. Don't you think it's about time we like refresh these up? Maybe get Teddy to do three and get James to do another three. 
I think so. I'm not going to work tomorrow. We have funeral services for our beloved family member that passed away last week. Um, tomorrow during the day, so I won't be working. So uh, I think I think we need to be on the south side at around 9 a.m. So it would be kind of an early start to get the kids up and dressed and packed up and everything. And then make the drive. Um, but that's what will be tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's good to be home. But I'm also going to show you these coasters that... I was supposed to show you yesterday, but I didn't. So here's the music box over on the South Point. This is where we had James's first birthday party. Roscoe's, which is in our neighborhood. A really cool bar that we used, that we've been to a handful of times, more so when we lived over here before. And then classic downtown Chicago, State Street Chicago Theater. And then, come on, the friendly confines with a, with a train in front of it. So a really cool stone, um, coaster set just some chicago vibes like that everybody would get and then just like from connection more to us uh, ooh. hi people kid all day say like, good afternoon we're so glad you're here we daily vlog so if you enjoyed this video make sure you come back every day it is almost 5 p.m we're starting the vlog late because we just got back from the south suburbs um, from the funeral we went to today we decided to not start the vlog until after because we were preoccupied um, you know, mourning with our family and putting our loved one to rest oh are you so happy to be home Hi, all right it was just too nice out we couldn't not go on a walk in the neighborhood so here we go sarah ran inside to grab this boy a sweatshirt because it's like 60. No. yeah james is still just loving carrying this little chip cup around everywhere. Why not? This is my relaxing walk. This well, is your relaxing. <laughs> I am really speedy all, <laughs> all of a sudden. sudden. You were like four houses ahead of me now. <laughs> it's so glorious out. If it could be this temperature. If it was this temperature for six months out of the year mm. and sunny summer six months out of the year, I would want to live here year round, not Disney World. But instead, it's a ton of here. It gets so cold. It gets so cold. But like, I do love this season probably the most. Yeah. And so like, if we get more than like three weeks of this, like that's a win in Chicago. Ooh, it feels so history. good. The breeze just now is There's just like. I'm like hoping we end up accidentally walking past. I think I need something savory. You said something sweet on the way home. I know, but I had a peps. Well, we better. I'll try to think of something that we can actually walk past it's savory. <laughs> we are at uh, the Gap on Southport. We said to step in. Sarah was looking for something. Hey, definitely you're too big for that, but that's super cute. That would be cozy. Yeah. We need like, uh, we need everything. We need all the things. We, okay, so Jamesy, like, Jamesy, like now the same age, not the same age, the same size as Luca. So our hand-me-downs, are coming to an end so jamesy needs new clothes but i just made a gap order the other day but i saw, i saw some mickey jammies and we're going to disney world so, so we might do some shopping oh gosh you a happy kid now you were not happy just now in the store he got very happy the moment we left. Whoa. <laughs> oh, who's this? Who's this Teddy? He's going to be a big kid. Oh, those bubbles. James learned a new trick to pull his shoes off of his feet in our stroller. So that's a fun new adventure that we're going to have to challenge. Sarah's purchasing a pair of shorts. Oh, here she comes now. Show us the shorts. Show us the shorts. This is my favorite color. Ew. Yeah, they're nice. Teddy got really Hi, happy Jason. the moment we got outside. Oh, great. Because they were talking smack about our baby in there. Really? Yeah. They were like, now I can talk and the baby's gone. And I was like, trying to listen. But they Which one? The workers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm about to go back in there. Hold on. <laughs> We're in uh, <laughs> the box start on Southport and we show him this because minions. And now he's beckoning throughout the store to open them. Open. 
So we're gonna get him these because he's not gonna indulge in the charcuterie that they have to go. So we're gonna munch on charcuterie and Jambo will munch on organic chickpea puffs. I don't What's, think there were crackers in there. Okay, you, yeah. All right, so James has got the vegan white cheddar puffs. Good. Sarah got a pack of the blue diamond almond nut thins to go with this delicious looking Okay, This, for a place like Foxtrot Market, which Sarah like, Sarah calls it an overrated overpriced place, but this is 15 bucks. That's like as expensive or cheaper than a, like a restaurant charcuterie. And this looks like it's got a lot more. It's got a little bit of Christmas. Is that rosemary in there right there? What if I dumped all this on the ground? <gasps> You didn't even know that. You didn't even know that. That's your favorite. Oh, right, we gotta go. All right, so we checked. We, we So we reevaluated things and we decided to not rush home to enjoy the Sunday, Monday beautifulness. And uh, the only problem is we didn't bring any of our supplies to be like good parents uh, besides an ID. And so Sarah MacGyvered a breastfeeding. What do you mean you're all done? Those puffs are for you, boy. This is zero sugar because it's sweetened by monk fruit. Oh, that's weird. Do you want to try a cracker? Ooh, nice. What service? Sarah from the future here. We did not sign off last night, so I'm just finishing the vlog. Um, I wanted to do a little sign off. So I am going to start taking some time, like fully focused on the vlog, maybe even like go to a coffee shop or something like that each day, maybe not every day, um, but just to do some like better work at getting back to your comments, working on things we've been excited about, like getting our website back up and the virtual 5K. Um, and so any encouragement you can send me, that would be great. It'll be weird to be like, actually take myself like out of our home um but anyway comment below what you'd like to see um see from us what you've liked in the past that we've done or any any ideas you have for the brookar project and how we can just keep on daily vlogging and keep on you know making such great connections with all of you um again words of encouragement any suggestions leave them in the comments um, and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>